here we are guys. Welcome. My name is Ethan and this is Real Talk. Thanks for joining us for tonight on our first episode of staying motivated when you're not feeling it. So what is Real Talk? You're probably wondering. Uh, Real Talk is where a collection of people discuss, give tips, share experiences relating to relevant topics uh, for you guys, you C3 youth. And uh, yeah, it's just going to be some authentic conversations. Hey, Jess. Hey, Steve. How you going? So yeah, we're just going to have a conversation with a whole bunch of people. Um, and so tonight we have a speed round. We have uh, heaps of different people sharing uh, on this topic of motivation. But before we start, we really want to hear what you guys want to talk about. We want to be speaking uh, to yeah topics that you want to talk about. And so what we want you to do after this session is we want you to uh, send a message to our Instagram account uh, and let us know what you would like us to talk about after this. But we also want you guys to be vocal throughout uh, these sessions. Let us know if you like what you're hearing. Uh, let us yeah, know what you think about this topic. Um, and so right now, before we invite our guests, we want to know what is a hobby that you've started for the first time these holidays or maybe a hobby that you do uh, just during the holidays? Why don't you just throw them up on the chat right now? For me, I've um, I started for the first time making chili sauce. So uh, that's been really interesting. Uh, it's quite hard to make chili sauce. I don't know if you guys have tried doing doing puzzles. That's actually a pretty cool trend. Hey, Streeter, how you going? Um, so yeah, I've been making uh, and making bread. Yeah, that's pretty good. I haven't tried that yet, Mickey. Um, but with my sauce, right, I've been using uh, Carolina Reapers, right? The hottest chili in the world in this sauce. Um, and I see MJ saying, ouch, she's tasted a little bit of my sauce. And it's been, yeah, it's been really fun uh, making raw treats. Lauren's been making some raw treats. Gardening, yes, gotta love the gardening. Sleeping, who has been sleeping in these holidays? I love a good sleep in. Awesome. So, to get started... We have our first guest. We're going big for our first guest. We're going global, right? And so right now, I want you to uh, get excited for the one and only. I'm not going to tell you yet. I'm trying to find him on the chat. Coming now, the signal is coming from Perth all the way to Jakarta, to Denpasar Airport, now to Ugasan, Bali. We have... Indra on the line. How you going, man? Yo, yo, yo. Hello, Ethan. How are you? Um, let me share a little bit about Indra. Indra is part Ooh. of C3 Youth The Book It. Why don't we give it up for C3 Youth The Book It? Ew. What a place. Amazing team up there. Uh, and Indra, he's, um, he helps out with the team there. But Indra is graduating this year. He loves uh, a to go surfing. He is such a dedicated guy um, who helps out on the band as well at C3 Book It 2. But Indra, what have yeah. you been up to these holidays, man? So, um, basically, at a normal time, I'm going to the beach for surf. Mm. But now, all of the beach is closed, so oh. I do it. I do it on my on my house with the tarp using oh. a skate. Oh, so but you're, you set up like a, a surf, surfboard track at your house yeah. with the guy. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> have you snapped it bad yet? Pardon? Have you have you fallen off yet? Oh yes, many times. Oh nice. <laughs> and Indra, can you share with us? Uh, what advice do you have in staying motivated? 
well from me try to do something that make you feel comfortable yeah like right. singing, dancing doing okay. your hobby yeah and you can also try to make your own daily schedule yeah that's awesome man at, at bali life foundation i had a daily schedule so that make me always have an activities yeah every day so i'm yeah. not feel bored during that's the and time that's awesome man yeah it's it's so important um for yeah we've got a schedule and that's important we got to stick to our schedule but it's good to have fun as well you know life's not all about the busyness we need to take time to to chill out go for a surf um that's awesome man thank you so much for sharing um thank you. i'll see you soon have a great week thank you so much for sharing bye -bye. bye bye so good a question for you guys right now down in the chat a would you rather so would you rather lose your sense of taste or your sense of smell let us know down in the comments thanks tom he is he's such a wise man hey pastor susie for me i would probably want to lose my sense of smell i just love food so much smell for you evan and jazz 100 smell yeah i just love food so much hey pastor matt fletcher how you going man nice well we've got another guess that's joining us right now uh and his name is evan and evan he's in he's in year eight in c3 youth hepburn heights he's such a legend i've been talking to evan uh, the last couple of weeks and something really cool about evan is that he has this massive wisdom of history um we were playing a game of like coot i think it's called uh on yeah, was good. connect groups hey man how you going i'm just Pretty good talking about you <laughs> i can hear this guy like he just knows so much about like medieval times and he absolutely smashed us um but evan also has such a good like i don't know attitude and like how he does his home the knowledge that he has is incredible so evan before we get started, what would you rather lose, your sense of taste or your sense of smell? Definitely my sense of smell because I'd rather not smell it when I have to pick up my dog's poo. So. Yeah, right. <laughs> I like food, so I want to be able to taste it. Yeah, right. So, Evan, what is your best advice on keeping focus on the important when distractions in our lives are constant? Well, I just set aside a bit of work each day um, and try and make it as fun as possible because the more fun it is, the easier it is to do. Mm. And you just keep working on that bit of work until it's done and move on to the next bit the next day or the next hour or whatever. Yeah. And until it's all done, when it's done, it is amazing and really good. Yeah. So you reckon taking things one step at a time and you know prioritizing the important things hey yeah that's all awesome. cool well thank you so much evan so guys take it one step at a time it's great to have a schedule but sometimes we can look so at a macro level just take it one step at a time and uh you'll get there thank you so much evan you're a legend I'll see you later on, all right? Oh, he, he left me. He didn't even let me end it. <laughs> oh, too good, too good. All right, another would you rather. Would you rather only be able to use technology or would you rather only be able to use paper items for the rest of your life? Let us know. For me, I think technology just because I'm no good at writing or painting or anything like that. I put everything in my phone and I use my laptop for everything. 
So yeah, what do you guys think? Tech? Yeah, tech. It is sad not using paper. <laughs> toilet paper though, very true. If you can't go to the toilet with, oh, you, you can, but don't recommend with an iPhone. Um, yeah, I love paper. Fantastic. <laughs> Well, yeah, save trees. That is very true, Sam. You save trees by using technology. So right now, we're going to go to our next question. Um, and that is, how do you motivate yourself to get work done after trying many things and failing over and over? And so I'm going to be welcoming one of our youth leaders, Jody. Um, and Jody is such a committed from who I know of her, she um, works in as an OT um, out in the community helping people and she has a busy schedule. She still does dancing as well, um, which is a talent in, the, in itself because I can't dance um, at all and I can't sing either. So good on you, Jody. But Thank you. Technology or paper, what do you reckon? Um, I said technology, but I would be sad that I can't use paper. Yeah. Do you do like, paint stuff or what would you use the paper I do, for? Yeah, I do like painting and all the rest. Um, yeah. Probably don't do it as often as I like, but now you can do all that stuff on technology, I guess. So. The only thing that Pastor Matt had a great point that, you know, what about toilet paper? What are we going to do? Anyway, we'll That's leave to be a next uh, session that we can talk about that. Um, yeah, it's a mystery. So how do you motivate yourself to get work done after trying many things and failing over and over again? Yeah, it's a good question, Ethan. Um, I, I think to start off with, um, have a look at, your thinking styles and have a look at what um, what you're actually saying about yourself. Mm. And if you're, you know, if you're just focusing on the parts of what you're doing that you're not getting right or not doing so well, then you might be like selecting things to actually think about, which is mm. a unhelpful thinking style, um, yeah. which is minimizing our successes. Um, so, if you want to read up more about unhelpful thinking styles, just type it into Google and there's like all this stuff about it. Um, but there's like the general ones like black and white thinking when you're only, you know, taking certain parts of the facts and yeah, mm -hmm. all of that. And then yeah. also have a look at your goal. Was your goal actually realistic um, yeah. this time? Was it actually realistic for what you have available for you, to you at the moment. Like there's so much going on in this environment that our goals might actually not be realistic for here and now. So yeah, well, review your goals, have a look at, you know, is it actually applying to what you need to do now? Yeah. 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 That's fantastic. So yeah, we need to, we need to continually just kind of self-reflect. Are we mm. thinking this putting ourselves down, um, yeah. giving up too big of expectations. Um, just another thing that I'd love to encourage people as well is, yeah, we, we come up against barriers after barriers. Mm. Um, and, you know, like the song says, what doesn't kill me makes me stronger. Da -da -da. Anyway, um, and, like, I, I think, like, failure isn't always a bad thing. Absolutely. It's like, it's like a muscle, you know, you, the more weight you, you take, the more uh, it tears and gets stronger. Um, and so, yeah, and be, be encouraged that, yeah, we got to be mindful of, you know, the thoughts that are in our head, but also mm. remember that, yeah, we can, uh, yeah. we can build strength by pushing through barriers after barriers. Um, and guys, I just want to say like, we, we, up against different things and you know us youth leaders we're here to help you out as well and so i encourage mm. you 
if um yeah if you need some encouragement if you need um a little bit of lifting up when you reach out to your connect group leader they would love to help as well thank you so much jody let's thanks for jody see you mate thank Bye. you so much all righty oh no i do not want to end the live video i just want to get rid of zodi okay cool thank you i'm glad someone has had to use technology i do not well guys uh we're coming up to question number three just because a we're going to speed speed round now a little bit more um and so i'd love to welcome uh mj who's going to be coming through shortly. Um, but the question is, what is uh, your favorite low tech and high tech way to track progress of your habits of staying motivated? Hey, Joseph, how you going? Jess, so good to see you. Thanks for joining us. Um, let's get MJ here. All righty. Where are you, MJ? There you are. Sweet. MJ's coming through. So MJ is one of our youth leaders. He runs a connect group. Um, well, runs a connect group with Ben Hughes in year 12s. Um, ben and I have known each other for a very long time. He's probably not happy at me at this stage um, because I gave him a bit of my sauce the other day. He made thought it was chutney rather than chili. So apologies in advance, Matt. <laughs> Good to see you. But your question, what is your favorite low-tech and high-tech way to track the progress of your habits and staying motivated? Easy. Well, uh, to hit it up straight, I think the, we start off with low-tech the most easily available thing that we all have is people. We all have people around us in one way or another. Yeah. And so having, we, we say this so much at C2 Youth is accountability. Have someone that you're like, you know what, I'm going to start this habit and I just want to, I want you to check in on me or I'm going to check in with you and let's, let's keep each other accountable. Hold me accountable for this habit and meet up with them once a day, catch up with them weekly or monthly and just have like a quick like chat. How you doing? How you doing? And it's like, it's the best thing, being accountable for a habit. Um, yeah. And it's low tech, and we all have someone around us. Your connector bleeder, I guarantee you they would love to join you in that challenge uh, to keep you accountable for something. Um, and there's another simple low tech way to check your progress of your habits to keep you up is actually yourself. Uh, if you set yourself a goal and a habit and you feel like you're not meeting it, um, that's probably a sign that you could probably push a bit harder. You could have tried a bit more to get that habit um, uh, formed. Or if, if you're in a place where you're like, you set your goal to read your Bible, and then after a week you're like, you know, I feel really good about how much I read my Bible. That's probably a sign that you did really good at reading a Bible that week. Nice. And so yourself uh, and other people, if you, those two line up, you've low tech, you got it down packed. Um, and that's easy. And then high tech is your phone. I think phones are going to be your worst enemy or your best friend when it comes to your habits. Um, I went through a whole transformation of my phone a while ago. I changed my background to a scripture I was memorizing. I put all my uh, Bible apps and everything in the center of my phone. I got rid of all the rest. Um, and I put reminders on my phone. I have an alarm that goes off on my watch every two hours during the day to remind me to stay, uh, you know, proactive and not get lazy. <laughs> um, and so use your phone. Your phone can do incredible things for you. Uh, reminder apps, notes, uh, alarms, so good. So easy and so good. That's amazing, man. Something that I, I do as well is I have a big calendar on my fridge and I put everything on that, whether that be work, whether that be fun, whether that be hanging out or meetings or anything, I pull that on my fridge. So whenever I go to get food, I'm reminded of what I do that day. So just little things like that, mm. thing, other people to stay mm. yeah. with you is so important. Um, and so good. Yeah. Reminders, mm. putting reminders on your phone as well is great. I love, uh, I love a physical reminder as well, like uh, wearing a cross having a poster on the wall, something where you just see it, you're just like, ah, oh, yes, habits, good habits. And so, uh, yeah, it's good stuff. That's awesome. Thank you so much, man. And um, sorry about No problem. <laughs> it's so good. My mouth has recovered. <laughs> uh, uh, see ya. <laughs>
Oh, amazing, guys. Um, well, that's all we have time for, for people um, sharing with us today. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I really want to encourage you, like I said, uh, send us a message over the chat. We want to know what topics you would like to hear about. Uh, but before we go, I just wanted to give you a couple of um, kind of extra resources. So I had a chat with uh, Pastor Ben Gould, um, who is one of our campus pastors for C3 Hepburn Heights, along with his wife, Pastor Kaz. Um, and so Pastor Ben, he's recommended a couple of, of books um, for us, if you would like to read them. I encourage you to even read those with your Connect Group leader as well. And so a couple of books that Pastor Ben, the book and motivation guru has recommended for us is one, The Power of Habit by Charles Daing. I can't, I can't pronounce names. Um, the second one is The Power of Full Engagement, uh, which I've got here. Powerful Engagement, great book. Um, and the other one is Anything from Malcolm Gladwell as well. And so, yeah, check those out. Have a chat with your Connect Group leader if you're going to grab one of those books. Um, it could be something that you could do together with them. Thank you, Pastor Ben Gould, for that. those recommendations. You are such a legend and we so appreciate you. Before we go, I just want to pray for you. And yeah, so why don't you close your eyes right now and I'm going to pray for you. Father God, we thank you for tonight. We thank you for uh, Real Talk, Lord. We just pray that, uh, yeah, we would be able to grab a hold of the things that were spoken tonight. That, God, I just pray for anyone right now who's not feeling motivated or is having trouble being motivated, Lord. I just pray that, God, you would spark something afresh in us. That, God, you would be with us this week as we do life. We pray this in your name. Amen. Thank you so much, guys. Make sure you check out tomorrow night where you got midweek munching and not have our C3 youth uh, online. That is happening at 6 p.m. on Friday. So make sure you check that out. Have a look at our Instagram updates and you can get more details on that. Have a great night. Thanks for joining us on Real Talk episode number one. See ya.